I nominate for Ben for four points. Ben. Benjamin. Benjamin. Ryan. Bradley for two points. Ryan. Ryan. Bradley. Bradley. Throwing a glass of water in your face. I didn't do it to be funny, Bradley. I did it because I was upset. I'd like a girl and some big hug comes along and takes her off me. I am who I am. I'm Ryan. This is me. The reasons why I could be up for nominations, I think it was some of the comments that I made. My personality can polarise people. I'm sure we'll find some common ground that we can talk about. to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. Whatever happens tonight, the house will be rocked to its foundations. The housemates will lose one of their biggest characters and we will drop a bombshell that will ignite one of the most explosive weeks in the history of Big Brother, not to overstate it. It's gonna be big. We will accidentally, on purpose, reveal to the housemates the existence of a second Big Brother house. But what I know, and what you know, is there is no second house. <laughs> How good is that? How do you think they're going to react? Oh, hilarious. Now, last week, a girl became the first eviction casualty. Tonight, a boy will bite the dust. Who's going home? Will it be Motormouth Benjamin? <laughs> Ladies man, Bradley. <laughs> or the house hunk himself, Ryan. <laughs> Well, I can tell you this, only one point separated the top three nominees and voting has been just as close. In fact, I can confirm that it has been the closest three-way vote in Australian Big Brother history. It's pretty amazing. All right, let's have a quick look at how the voting graph looks right now. Here you can see the votes to save. 33%, 31%, 36%. We don't know who those votes belong to just yet. but. It's not over. There is still time to save your favourite. And boy, do they want saving. Have a look. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. I'm here to have a great time. I'll, I'll keep on being Ryan. Um, and I'll, I'll, keep on, I'll keep on laughing, saying silly things. So yeah, please keep, keep voting for me. Please keep me in the Big Brother house. I feel like the party is only just getting started. I make hot pants out of pillows and I'll keep asking the real questions. Keep me in here. I'm fun, I'm funny. You should vote to save me so that if an intruder comes into the house, I can tell them the moth joke. <laughs> and it is a classic, just a handful of votes in it. Facebook voting has now closed, but don't let your favourite housemate be evicted. You can still vote to save them by picking up your phone. Too close to call, so it's too close not to make the phone call. Voting closes at 6.43pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well, what a week. It's been in the Big Brother house. The word of the week was yes, and it was all sealed with a kiss. Ah! Oh, oh, no! Week three in the Big Brother house. <laughs> the task required housemates to give one simple answer. Yes, Big Brother. Yes, yes Big, Big brother. brother. Yes, Big Brother. 
Would you like to shred Ryan's letter? Would you like to hang up on your favourite Auntie Gail? Would you like to lose the dreads? Yes, big brother. No! No! A discussion around pancakes got heated. I wasn't trying to be nasty to well, you, right? I can tell you're upset with me, and whether or not you're trying to be nasty, it does come across that way. Hello, darling. Oh my god! Hello? Australia's favourite fish, Surly, struck again. Go and get a pair of his shoes and throw them over the back wall. What the hell? I think Zoe threw a pair of runners on the roof. Real love sizzled between Stacey and the celebrity intruder. Hi, Mum. He likes to watch me work out and it turns him on. So beautiful. Good morning, Ryan Gosling. He lets me talk, which is cool because I'm a big yapper. Oh. And it was left to Bradley to win the task with his lucky first kiss. Well played with Brenner and his stuff, but a game's a game and the housemates won. And Big Brother would remind you. Big Brother didn't select Estelle. Good point, Big Brother. And now to the house where we had yet another birthday. Now, you'd think that would be cause for celebration, but that's not really how things turned out. It's Estelle's 24th birthday. A good reason for Big Brother to get the house up and awake. Happy birthday! There's a party plan for later, but not all the housemates are feeling the love for birthday girl Estelle. But look, look there's nothing in it apart from hungry. carbs. Look how many carbs there is. It's all about the calories though. Overall. No, no one's wrong and no one's right. Everyone just has an opinion. Oh, I can't stop. I can't even get out of the kitchen. I sometimes can't take her. I want to... It's a birthday and I want to smack her in the head. <laughs> it's really annoying when someone says, no, you're wrong. I hate being told I'm wrong. But I might be wrong, but I don't like it. It's, it's only my opinion. <sighs> Sarah's also got an opinion on Estelle. She wants to be involved in everything. She wants to be a part of everything. She wants to feel needed. She wants to feel loved. So then she's like, if I get more involved, if I do this, if I do that, everyone's going, no. Yeah, no, people are Let pushing people her away. Yeah, exactly. Sarah, I think if it keeps up, it's going to pull Estelle aside tomorrow and have a talk to her about shutting people down and trying to get involved in things that aren't hers to get involved in. Can I put my two cents in? I think you're, I think you're amazing. And I know the, the self-doubt feelings. If you weren't in here, you wouldn't be feeling them. It's just because it's so foreign to you. You're the one who has to walk out of these doors. You're the one who has to be able to carry your head high and say, I was me. All of the yeah. great things and all of the bad things, whatever it is, I was me and true to myself. And that's the only thing that's going to carry you in or out of that door. Yeah. Give me a hug with muscles. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. <laughs> How sick is that? Estelle's party will have a street theme. Oh, wicked, 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 wicked. <laughs> what am I about to walk into? Speeches. Estelle! Estelle! I've not really celebrated a birthday since I was really young, so to come together with such an amazing group of people and have so much fuss made over me means so much to me more than I can express. Oh, we love you. Happy birthday! Well, I'm I don't normally cry, but I'm really happy, not sad, so it's okay. Look, I hate speeches, I hate talking out loud, I hate it, I know, alright. Got to do it. I, I think I speak on behalf of everybody here. <laughs> it is the most amazing, beautiful, spiritual person. She said this before. It's the same speech that Ryan. Happy birthday, <laughs> beautiful girl. You deserve it. Yay! 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 Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, big boys, big girls, I'm gonna hit this to you. 30 seconds to bust the freshest piece of style that you got. We bought B Boy Razor coming to yeah! slice ya. Hey, then we got big, then we got big girl. Waga, waga. 
Ray and Sarah are the first couple chosen to compete head to head in a 30 second rap dance battle. Here it is! Ray's first mistake is taking Sarah's hat off. Oh! Can everyone, can, can someone not be aggressive? I didn't Sorry, like I was, I was joking, not, yeah. I'm Sorry. really aggressive. I, I understand. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Hey, Bradley, I'm going to put you on. Oh. Sarah, Sarah. Oh, they got the beer. This is the yeah, streets. Yeah, this is the streets. Was that my violence? Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey, Sarah, Sarah, oh. I'm oh. so oh. sorry. Oh. I know, I realise. Oh. I know. Hey, hey, can I chat to you? Come on, let's have a chat. I know. No, but I, that's what I do with my mates. Don't care. I'm not your mate. I'm I know. A I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm not a bloke. Yeah, I realise now. I realise as soon as I took the hat off you, I saw your face and I was like, oh. Push me again. I know. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I got. Yeah. I lost it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, I just Any other made a dickhead dick move. Sorry, you would have got kicked out, mate. Yeah. I made a dickhead move. I'm sorry. Hey. I just wasn't there. But... More controversial than step up four. Now, the fate of our nominated housemates hangs in the balance. You could tip the scales. Vote now to save your favourite because by the time we come back, lines will be closed. Coming up, more action from the Big Brother house. And then there's the small matter of a big, juicy eviction. To save Ryan, call 1902559511. To save Benjamin, call 1902559502. To save Bradley, call 1902559503. Or text their name to 1995599. Welcome back to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. Voting lines have now closed. Soon we'll know the outcome of this extraordinarily close vote and the boys can finally get off that knife edge they've been living on all week. Later tonight, the deliberate mistake we will make will give the housemates such a knock it'll have them seeing double. But first, back to the house where fallout from Estelle's party increased exponentially, or a lot. Upset by a dance battle with Ray that she felt was too aggressive, Sarah unloads in the bedroom. I felt like I was just kind of goose up. I was trying to dance and trying to be in the spirit of things and I got shoved and pushed and my hat ripped off. I'm like, who wants their hat ripped off when they've had it on for a couple of hours? I know. No who one. wants this? But I think it was his face also looked really yeah. aggressive. So when you yeah. were looking at him, he wasn't looking like he was having fun. Well, like this, he looked like he was, was like being aggressive. aggressive. The key of the issue is that no guy thinks you went it too far. And you went first. We all probably would have gone that far. We didn't know what, where the boundary was. The girls had clearly made a boundary. We didn't know where it stood. Because I've looked at it, I'm like, that wasn't bad at all. I they think, all think you just it wanted is. to win the dance battle, Ray. All I can tell you from where I was sitting, he was afraid you were going to beat him in a dance competition and his only manoeuvre was to push you around the dance floor and take away any kind of spirit you had. Spirit or respect or... He just, to, he, just to, he just had to degrade you so you would stop dancing and he would beat you. He was afraid that he would get out there and you would dance better than him. Like I was dancing on the sidelines just going, I'm sorry, this is like a pressure cooker. You are a 30 year old woman, we are hanging around with 20 year old people and we are doing our best to hang out with 20 year olds. I just don't like this drama over nothing. I drama. I would not say that in front of any of the other girls. What? Why? It is still drama. Yeah. I just feel like now everything's stopped. Yeah, which is unfair. I'm going to be selfish for a second and say that sucks. When Sarah walked away, even I was like, oh, if I go, if I leave the boys to go over and ask if she's okay, it's going to be worse. Hey, girl. Huh? Um. I really want to apologise to Sarah. Like, she more doesn't just, like she's actually to the point of like you're going to make it much worse if you push it tonight. She just really wants to Probably talk about it tomorrow. Sleep on it. She's yeah. really upset that it's Estelle's party and that's all. Yeah. So like, all I can say to you is that I watch what happened yeah. and I know what you're like. Yeah. It just comes across as so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And I think when I was watching it, I just felt like you wanted to win that dance competition and you were going to do anything to win. She's coming out of the bathroom now. If you want to push the subject, you can push it, but I'm just saying to you, I don't think that's right. And I know what she said to me. Hey, guys. Hey, Sarah. 
Mm. I know you don't want to talk to me tonight, but my heart does say talk to you tonight. If you wanted me to talk to you in the morning, I'm happy to do that. Hey, Ray, Ray, we'll have a chat in the morning. Yeah. Let's just go and make it a good okay. birthday for Stella. All right, we'll make a good night for Estelle. That's a deal.